Mr. Hemingway in? Yes, but he's very busy. You'll have to wait. Yeah, well, we're too busy to wait. Come on, boys. How do you do? How do you do, gentlemen? Take a chair. We will, and the desk, too. Yeah. Here, here, here. You can't do that. Get up, I, Hemingway. I know the law. Yeah, well, you don't know enough law to stop us. That's the last piece of furniture I'll ever buy from your firm. Yeah. Now, don't get rough. Say, I can cause you a lot of trouble. Why don't you see a lawyer? Ah, oh, Mr. Hemingway. So they finally caught up with you. Why don't you make a down payment on a brain? Everybody else has one. I was afraid I might get gypped like you did. I'll even this with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. Am I addressing Mr. Hemingway, the eminent counselor? Why, yes, madam, you certainly are. I would like a little advice. Well, you've come to the right man. Will you just step inside, please? Thank you. Not at all. <laughs> Say, boys, boys, here's my last bill. Listen, will you move that stuff in there just for a little while? Okay, boys, make it snappy. Oh, sure. Sure. Come on, Eddie, let's go. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen, thank you. The desk goes right over there. We ought to know. Yeah. You'll uh, pardon me for keeping you waiting, but my new furniture has just arrived. Thank you. That'll do very nicely, and thanks for the ride. <laughs> now, I'm at your service, Mrs. Van Buren. I want to divorce my husband at once. Really? Won't you sit down? <coughs> now, on what uh, grounds do you base your complaint? Incompatibility and extreme mental cruelty. He won't give me any spending money. He's so tidy squeaks. Dear, dear, what does he look like? Mm, here's a picture of him. Oh. Oh, you must have married him in a dense fog. Oh, I couldn't help it. I was so young and he was so forceful. Oh, what has he done? I mean, how, how does he annoy you? Well, lately he has been whistling in his sleep. One morning I woke up and found nine dogs in bed with me. Oh, oh madam, you have my sympathy. The man ought to be behind bars. Now, Mr. Hemingway, I want a divorce. A settlement of $50,000, the townhouse, and a thousand dollars a week alimony. <coughs> Is that all? And that's all I can think of at the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to obtain the divorce, you must involve Mr. Van Buren in a compromising position. How exciting. But we need a detective. Oh, no. I'll do the detecting. I've studied crime for years. As a matter of fact, I was born near Scotland Yard. Oh, I love Scotland. Yes. Did you ever wear kilts? No, no. You see, I suffered from cold knees. Oh. Can I uh, ring for the elevator? Oh, no, don't bother. You're busy. Then I'll see you tonight? Yes, tonight, at the Hotel Simplon at 9 o'clock, room 224. I'll drop a hint to my husband. He's sure to follow us. Now, listen, call on the house phone first. If a man answers, it's my mother. Sitton Hotel, 9 o'clock, room 224. Call on house phone. If a woman answers, it's my father. Mary, Mary, meet me tonight in the lobby of the Simplon Hotel at 845. It's a big case, and I've got to do some detective work. Is there any money in it? Say, how about my salary? Oh, don't be so mercenary, Mary. There's a big fee in this, and if I win it, you'll get your salary. Now, do you remember? Yes, salary tonight at 845. No, Simplon tonight at 845. Well, what happened? Who is he? Boss, you're up against a man who is dynamite with women. Small, dapper, a little mustache, but a great lover. The way he kisses her hand, oh, boss! Stop, I can't stand it! But you ain't heard anything yet. Tonight, they're having a rendezvous at the Simplon Hotel. <laughs> I can hardly wait! I got a camera and a flashlight, they'll meet me. I'll fix that home wrecker and get me a room there. Next to you? Yes, no, next to them. Oh, I see. Okie dokie, boss. Mary, Van Buren has the next room to his wife and she doesn't know it. What do you know about that? Well, what do you know about my salary? Yeah, <laughs> later, later, elevator. Any news? 
Oh, very good news, Mrs. Van Buren. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. By the way, this is my secretary, Miss Jones. How do you do? Now, uh, get a good grip on yourself. Well, who are they doing now? Shh. He's holding a hand and whispering chit-chat, chit-chat in her ear. I'll kill him. I'll kill the both of them. Everything is going to be all right. What are they doing now? Shh. They're wrestling around the room. Oh, oh that man can wrestle. Stop. I can't stand it any longer. Get out. And remember, when I wave the handkerchief... When you wave the handkerchief... You break down the door and take the picture. I break down the picture and take the door. Yes. Yes. No! You break down the door and take the picture. Now remember, Oscar, when I wave my handkerchief, you break in the door and snap their picture. You understand? Uh, yes, sir. I'll be right here in the hall. Hall. I hope so. Who's there? The maid, sir. Towel for the bathroom, sir. <laughs> In his room. It won't be long now. Oh, Mr. Hemingway, you're so clever. Oh, Mrs. Van Buren, this is only the beginning. Only the beginning. Thank you. Oh, come on. Come on. Get, get, get him around me. Get, get, get. Oh, good. Oh, oh, God. Got it. Ah. Oh, you bad head. Oh. I just got from the photographer. Thank you. You know, this case is absolutely airtight. Now, uh, give me my notes. Well, Mr. Hemingway, I'll let them at the office. What? Well, you run and get them quickly or everything is lost. you worry. Your husband doesn't suspect a thing. Why, you win this case easily. Hemingway doesn't realize that I'm going to make him the goat. <laughs> Say, when I get through with him, he'll be laughing stock of the town. Oh, honey, I'll be so glad when this case is over. What was that? Nothing, my dear. Please develop this as quickly as possible and bring it right down to Judge Henry's court. It's very important. Yes, miss. Hear ye, hear ye, the court is open. Everybody rise. It's on earth, the judge. Van Buren versus Van Buren. Are both sides ready? Quite ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> oh, you've uh, dropped something. Your Honor, I ought to gaze upon the most beautiful creation of nature, woman. Wars have been fought for them. Men have given up their lives for a woman's smile. I ask you, how low has our civilization fallen when a man who is married to such a beautiful woman as my client should stoop so low as to throw walnut shells in her bed? <laughs> uh, continue, Mr. Hemingway. This fiend who calls himself a man whistles in his sleep, disturbing my fair client's rest. This is an open and shut case. And I am sure, Your Honor, after you glance at this evidence, you will grant my client not only a divorce, but a complete settlement.
What does this mean, Mr. Hemingway? It means that I have proven more than mere words can tell. Stop, Mr. Hemingway, or I shall hold you in contempt of court. Mr. Bassett, I think your client should see this. Thank you, Your Honor. Look me at him! The wait, man, George! Order in the park! Hey, I'll handle this. Your Honor, I don't understand what this is all about. That's enough, Mr. Hemingway. Your Honor, my opponent, this miniature Jekyll and Hyde, who seems to be living a double life, is a disgrace to the bar and a menace to society. I protest. Another word out of you and I'll have you incarcerated. Your Honor, I would like to ask my worthy opponent to take the stand. Mr. Hemingway, take the stand. Here. Where were you on the night of September 25th, and what was the weather, if any? Uh, well, uh, That's just what I thought. What were you doing in Mrs. Van Buren's room? Well, I, uh, I was giving her a little advice. Oh! Is this the kind of advice you get paid for? There must be some mistake. Yes, there is some mistake, and you've made it. That's all, Your Honor. Mrs. Van Buren, I'm awfully sorry. It won't happen again. Don't speak to me. Your Honor, I move that this man be held for conspiracy, and that he be disbarred from ethical practice. To think that a man in my profession should try to involve such a lovely, sweet woman as Mrs. Van Buren in such an unsavory mess. Say, are you her lawyer or mine? Shut up. I'll handle this in my own way. This noble woman who trusted her attorney, this wicked little man lady who has placed her in such an unfortunate position. Yeah, but... well, Your Honor, Your Honor, I demand the same privilege Enjoyed by my opponent. Any objections, Mr. Bassett? None at all. Little man, what now? Take the stand. Do you sign right on the to the family here? How long have you known Mrs. Van Buren? I have never seen Mrs. Van Buren until today. You heard that, Your Honor? My hearing is excellent. Then, Your Honor, take a look at this. Mr. Bassett, I hold you for collusion and conspiracy. Mr. Hemingway, I congratulate you. You have saved this court from a grave miscarriage of justice. Case dismissed. Oh, Mr. Hemingway, I beg you to accept my retainer for $5,000. I want you to get me the divorce. Oh, thank you, Mr. Van Buren. The case is airtight. It's just a matter of procedure. Three cheers!